During the day, these halls of Signal Mountain Middle High School are filled with students. Some of these students are activists who participate in clubs that make a change one day at a time. Activism can take many forms. It can be big or small, like posters, marches, and clubs. It can be loud actions, such as rallies, or small, like recycling. Look around your school. Activism is everywhere. No matter the size, activism is meant to make an impact. What do you do as an environmental activist? Uh, what I do as an environmental um, activist, it's basically, well, it's just the little things that I do on a daily basic basis that, you know, really helps um, the environment, such as, you know, recycling and producing less waste. I, um, I would like to consider myself a kind of living a waste-free life um, by using, I mean, reusable bags and um, washcloths and um, just, you know, stuff like that and making sure that I produce um, as little waste as possible um, to help with um, litter and, um, you know, the, the growth of um, garbage dumps. Um, and then also making sure that um, I don't waste water or, you know, um, you know, drive a car when I, you know, don't need to. Maybe I can ride my bike and just make sure to um, save on carbon emissions. And um, I like to go to a lot of, you know, peaceful protests sometimes. So, you know, that's something that I really enjoy doing and I do that all, very often, so. What do you think that other people can do at this school to be activists? Um, to be an activist, once again, it's just about the little stuff, you know. Um, maybe, you know, instead of throwing that water bottle in the trash, you know, save it later to recycle it. And um, maybe, and eating a healthier diet will also help you a lot, actually. I mean, I personally am a vegetarian uh, because, you know, a lot of, you know, the meat industries really, you know, put, provide negative impacts to the environment, so. Okay, so what are you doing, like, activism-wise in the community? Okay, so I'm part of Students Demand Action, which is a national organization where students work to prevent gun violence in American communities. So I'm part of Chattanooga Students Demand Action, and I work as their leader, as their um, advocacy and speakers lead. So we will hold different events and different forums um, to uh, almost educate the community on gun violence in Chattanooga because even though we don't have large mass shootings, it's not covered regularly in the media that. We have had over 30 people killed by gun violence in Chattanooga this year alone. And another thing we do with Students Demand Action is every March we go down to Nash or go up to Nashville for Advocacy Day, where we talk to our selected representatives, um, our state representatives, and we will talk to them about possible gun-related bills on the docket and whether or not we, as their constituents, agree that they should pass it or we will talk to them and say this is why this would be a dangerous bill for our community. Um, how do you think other people can be advocates? I think um, this huge idea with youth activism is that it needs to be this huge thing. Like you need to organize some huge march and like go all the way to like DC to be part of a rally to be a youth activist. But activism really starts individually with you. And let's say you don't have the resources to go work in your community, then that can start as small, like your activism can start from your classroom to your school. So let's say you're having a discussion about climate change or about poverty and you feel like you need to advocate for um, maybe some kids that don't get the same education as we do. Your advocacy can begin with you talking about how we don't, some people don't get the same opportunities and you can extend that to talking to your administration and trying to get some policies changed and reaching out to see if there's any youth activism groups um, active in your, that do a lot of things in your community and trying to get in touch with them. Usually they're always looking to recruit so that's like a super great way to get involved. Uh, can you tell us what the GSA is? 
Absolutely. The GSA actually previously stood for the Gay Straight Alliance, but now it is the Genders and Sexualities Alliance. It is a club or organization to help both LGBTQ youth and their allies all come together uh, to, to talk about equal rights and to talk about activism. Why do you think that the GSA is important specifically in schools? I feel like GSA is super important in schools because I feel like it's important in all schools that students can recognize themselves and see themselves everywhere and know that they're safe and that they're in a uh, a community environment that supports all kinds of students, no matter what they look like, act like, sound like, or who they happen to love. How do you think that people can be advocates for like LGBTQ youth and people in general, especially in schools? Absolutely. Well, I think the first step uh, in being an advocate is being an open-minded person yourself and looking at your own uh, maybe intrinsic biases and start to it to look at those closely, but I also think being friendly with people and just remembering that everybody's a human being 